Why does the name Hugo Boss evoke such strong emotions? Let's take a look into the sinister history of Hugo Boss, tracing his rise and fall in the fashion market, from his affiliations with the Nazis to his brand's standing today. Hugo Ferdinand Boss was born on July 8, 1885 in Metzingen, Germany. His parents, Heinrich and Louise Boss, ran a small lingerie shop where Hugo and his four siblings helped out from an early age. This early exposure to business and craftsmanship set the stage for Hugo's future endeavors. The young Hugo learned to value precision and quality, traits that would later define his fashion empire. However, tragedy struck the Boss family multiple times. Friedrich and Karl succumbed to illnesses, leaving Hugo and his sisters to carry on the family business. Later, both siblings also passed away, leaving Hugo as the sole surviving sibling to manage the family shop. Despite these personal losses, Hugo's resolve only strengthened. He took on the full mantle of responsibility, running the family shop with dedication and a vision for expansion. In 1923, leveraging his early experiences, Hugo Boss founded his own clothing company in Metzingen, initially focusing on general-purpose workwear. The 1930s brought turbulent winds of change to Germany. As the nation grappled with economic hardship and political unrest, Hugo Boss saw both danger and opportunity. In 1931, he made a decision that would forever alter the course of his life. He joined the National Socialist German Workers' Party, the Nazis. Hugo Boss's involvement with the Nazi Party was not just a business decision, it was a commitment to the party's ideology and goals. As an early member of the National Socialist German Workers' Party, Boss was deeply integrated into the party's network. He participated in party events, contributed to party funds, and supported the Nazi cause through his business operations. With the Nazis' rise to power, the demand for uniforms for their various paramilitary organizations surged. Hugo Boss's company secured contracts to produce these uniforms, making it a key supplier for the Nazi regime. Hugo Boss's company became instrumental in outfitting the SA, SS, and Hitler Youth. These uniforms were designed to project authority and instill fear. The SS uniforms, for instance, featured sleek black fabric, meticulously tailored to fit perfectly. Double-breasted jackets had silver buttons that gleamed under the light, while the high, stiff collars added an intimidating edge. The uniforms were complemented by black leather belts, jack boots, and the iconic peaked caps adorned with the silver death's head skull. The production of these uniforms came at a horrific cost. According to the History Channel, Hugo Boss's factories used forced labor, including prisoners of war and concentration camp inmates. These laborers endured brutal conditions to meet the regime's demands. After the fall of the Third Reich in 1945, Germany faced intense scrutiny and efforts to rebuild. Hugo Boss's involvement with the Nazis came to light, and he faced the consequences. According to BBC reports, he was initially classified as an activist and beneficiary of the Nazi regime, leading to a temporary ban from running his business. During the denazification trials, Hugo Boss admitted to his Nazi party membership but minimized his role. He stated, I never thought it would come to this, reflecting a mix of regret and justification. He was eventually reclassified as a follower and fined, allowing him to resume business operations under strict oversight. Despite this dark chapter, the company managed to survive and even thrive. Hugo Boss shifted its focus back to producing high-quality menswear, leveraging the craftsmanship and design expertise that had always been its hallmark. Today, the Hugo Boss brand is synonymous with luxury and sophistication, a far cry from its wartime associations. The company has made efforts to acknowledge and address its past, contributing to historical research and supporting initiatives to honor the victims of forced labor. The legacy of Hugo Boss is complex. On one hand, he was a pioneer in fashion, creating designs that have stood the test of time. On the other hand, his collaboration with the Nazis casts a long shadow over his accomplishments.